All right, and now finally, let's take a look at uh, exercise one, and this uh, yeah, last uh, last example of this uh, video. So, if a, b, and c are not all zero, show that the equation ax plus by plus cz plus d equals zero represents a plane, and a, b, c is a normal vector to the plane. So, we're just given this equation. And we're given this d value to show that it's uh, actually a plane. So hint, suppose a is not equal to zero and rewrite the equation in the form a uh, times x plus d over a plus b of uh, times y minus zero and then plus z times z minus zero equals zero. So solution. So since a, b, and c are not all zero, uh, then we can assume that then one of them is not zero. So let's assume a one is not zero. If it's not a, we could do b, c, or whatever. Doesn't matter. So let's just pick a, and the result will uh, yeah the result will mean that at least one of them is true. So hence the equation would be right if it is all true. So anyways, so what we have is let's say we have uh, assume a is not um, equal to zero. So a x plus b y plus c z. So we have this, and then plus d like this. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by a. And this is equals zero. So now we multiply the top and bottom without changing anything. And now we'll factor out the a out of there so that we get a x plus d over a. And then do the exact same format over here, but with a zero. So y minus zero doesn't change anything. Plus c z minus zero equals to zero. All right, and now we can rewrite this as a dot product. So we'll just, uh, yeah, this is the same thing as writing it as um, right here, a, b, c dot, and then this is gonna be x plus d over a, and then y minus zero, z minus zero equals zero. Yeah, because uh, when you take dot product, you just multiply a in t inside this and b inside this and, and and then see inside this one here, and we get this top part right here, which can be rewritten back into this format right here. So this one right here. All right, so now we have this. Uh, this one here is our normal vector, because it's the dot product zero, so this can be our normal vector n. All right, so now we have that. We can uh, continue further and then separate this uh, addition right here, or subtraction, uh, remove those. So what we're gonna get is n vector dot, and this one here is the same thing as writing um, like this, uh, x, I'll put a bracket here, so uh, x, y, z, so move this x, y, z out, and then this is gonna be um, plus the point uh, d, a, well actually instead of using plus, we'll use negative, so then if we're taking a negative, and then uh, to get the plus there, we need to also have this negative here. Uh, just so that's it's familiar with the equation of a line that we had. Negative d over a, and then zero, zero. So we're subtracting everything, like that. Equals to zero, like that. Now this one here, remember this is just our general uh, position vector at any point. It's going to be r. This one right here is going to be our r naught. So a point on the plane, I mean on the line. All right, so that's what we get is, well, this is gonna be our n dot, and then we can do r minus r not like that equals zero. And then the other format is, uh, yeah, so we can just, we could stop it here, or uh, we could uh, multiply this inside, n r, yeah, so n dot r minus n vector r dot like that equals to zero. So we could do this or, and then move this over, uh, put this or right here, or, yeah, or finally move this over. This is gonna be n dot r equals to n dot r not. Put this like that. And uh, yeah, these are all just the vector equations of, uh, of a plane. So thus we have shown that the given equation can be written as a vector equation of a plane with normal vector n equals a, b, c, 
and r minus r naught representing a vector on the plane. So there's this r minus r naught there. It's fascinating, fascinating stuff. 